Hey guys, what's up? Fabian for Liberty Internet Anchorman TV. So finally, the day for uh, those of us that have been advocating precious metals, gold and silver absolutely rallied today on the day where, yeah, gold up, uh, well, gold is up 68 bucks. Boom. Hello there, Queen of England. Yes, I, uh, I run the Bank of England and the Federal Reserve and I, uh, you are my slaves. I guess that wasn't really an English accent. Pretty bad. That was an English, bad English accent with the lisp, I should add. Uh, silver up $83. Those of us that would have been saying, keep stacking, right? Um, a couple days ago, I talked about how the, what was taking place in Europe was spreading, right? So Spain now is on fire. And June 18th may be the day that Greece leaves the, at least that's what a lot of people are, are, are saying. Um, and why June 18th? Well, I think the reason, uh, among many, uh, is that they have an election on the 17th. And who are they going to elect on the 17th? More radicals, more Nazis and communists that will, that will basically say no to any bailout whatsoever. So that'll be interesting. But we know this for a fact. We know this is spreading. It'll go Greece, Spain, Europe, uh, or Greece, Spain, Italy, and, and finally uh, England and France will probably be the last ones. Even Germany is on the chopping block. The most interesting thing that I can say in today's video, though, um, you know, 270-point drop for the Dow, Worst day of 2012. It's, I think, clear now that Europe is failing. These countries will fail. I don't know if they'll leave the euro, if all of them will leave the euro, but we know that many of them will probably exit the euro. They'll have to return to their own, um, their old currencies, and the euro experiment will be a total failure. But here's what you need to know. I think most important, especially those that believe and understand the fundamentals of. Hello there, this is the Queen of England. They understand the fundamentals of gold and silver, and, and more importantly, understand the Ponzi scheme that is the US dollar, right? It's worse for Europe, because they don't really have, although, you, you know, their charter prohibits them from doing QE3s and QE2s and QE1s like they've done here, right? Although, when Germany had the failed bond auction uh, last year, who do you think stepped up and bought the rest of the bonds? Well, the ECB did. European Central Bank. Um, but, you know, Merkel's against it and everything else. Until now, here's an interesting thing. First off, um, Angela Merkel came out with a way to fund, and I knew this would happen. In fact, I talked about this. I was looking for some of my old videos, uh, but there's so many of them to look through on, on what would happen next, right? What would happen next is that they're going to go and they're going to steal the gold of these countries. So, Europe or Greece, Italy, you know, they may leave the euro. It may not happen as quickly as one thinks, and it may not happen because of this reason. The reason is that now Angela Merkel is creating a, a euro bond, if you will, but the euro bonds will be backed by what? They'll be backed by, hello, hello there, they'll be backed by gold. And in this case, the Canadian maple leaf. Oh, they'll be backed by gold, right? So what does that mean? That means that if um, Greece wants uh, $100, they're going to have to pledge $100 to fund the, the, to fund the debt. So here's the thing. Italy, who has about 4,000 tons of gold, one of the biggest gold, top 10 gold owners, or Spain has a ton of gold, Greece has gold. So now if they want to get more fiat currency, they're going to have to give up their gold. I mean, who in the world is believing that, uh, you know, they're going to trade, they'll be stupid enough, other than the Western countries like, like Canada, actually, that sold a lot of their gold um, back in 2001, 2002 at like 400 bucks an ounce or whatever the prices were. Um, not that Canadians are stupid people. I'm talking, these are the globalist elites, right? Uh, actually, I love Canada. Um, but anyways, so here's the plan. The plan is let's loot these countries even more. It's not enough that we now own your natural resources, your infrastructure, the Parthenon or the you know, Acropolis in this case. Um, no, the Parthenon's in Rome. But, but no, now we want to take your gold. Now Merkel's devised a scheme uh, in the way of making the Germans hate it even more because now Germany's saying we're going to steal the gold by giving you more toxic Euro debt that you eventually aren't going to be able to pay anyway. So what the hell, we'll have your gold anyways. That's number one. This is all interesting because also uh, the Basel Committee on Bank Supervision, that sounds so uh, sophisticated, uh, they have now made gold, here again, hello, 
Hello there. They've actually made gold a no longer a top tier, uh, a tier three asset, but a tier one asset. Now, what does that mean? Uh, that means that banks will find gold much more attractive uh, to hold and would give further support to the price of gold. It'll also emphasize the point made below that gold is being increasingly viewed as a more important financial asset. Now, of course it is, right? In the 5,000 year history of recorded human, mankind, everything that's happened from, you know, the, the Egyptians to the, to the Israelites to whoever, it's always gone back to gold because fiat currency has failed. I mean, we have historical examples of fiat currency uh, in China failing thousands of years ago. We have the Greeks uh, the, and um, the Romans with, you know, Diocletian's edict on price controls and, and uh, the, the debasement of currency back then failing. So, of course, it's all coming back to gold. Of course it is. Uh, and silver. Silver up almost a dollar today. So, the reason commodity prices, specifically precious metals, have been uh, having a problem is because they're manipulated by the Federal Reserve. They're manipulated by the central banks. Because if gold goes up, that's, a that's an indicative of how bad the fiat paper is. It, it, it shows that in the struggle between gold and fiat, um, that gold's getting the upper hand, but it always will, right? Because gold is real money. There's only so much of this, right? There's a lot of the fiat currency. In fact, I don't have any in my pocket right now, but, um, but there's a lot of fiat currency out there. And, and there's going to be even more, because guess what? The last point I want to make, probably one of the most important, is Japan and China today, economy, top two and three economies of the world announced that, hey, guess what? They are no longer going to trade in dollars. They're going to trade in what other than uh, their own currencies, right? So they're ditching the dollar, they're now trading in their own currencies, and they're saving billions of dollars in doing it, not just in the inflationary uh, pressures of, of, of the dollar, but also in just the fact that they have to change the currency, exchange and all this, it'll speed up trade. It's one of the reasons, it was one of the arguments actually that was made for the, for the Eurozone when it was created, that it was speed up trade because it would have a common currency. Now, I believe the Chinese-Japanese agreement to trade in their own currencies is, an, is the first step, is a model, right? This isn't Iran and India, you know, although I mentioned them trading in gold for oil as a big deal, right? Because they're off the dollar as well. But this is the top two and top three economies of the globe, right? Now trading in their own currencies. It is the model blueprint for either a basket of currencies being used or... Hello? Gold being used, okay? The fact is this, ladies and gentlemen, the day of the dollar as the world reserve currency is soon approaching an end. Doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Doesn't mean it's the end of opportunity in America. Doesn't mean people still can't go get filthy rich. But it does mean that the banker Ponzi scheme that they have created is coming to an end. And I believe in Bilderberg now, in Chantilly, Virginia, they are planning what the next stage of all of this is. The cracks are beginning to show. Gold, once again, as it's done many times in history, is emerging as the champion over fiat currency. I'm Aaron and Anchorman Fabian for Liberty. Thank you for watching. I'm out.